Five years ago, I tore a meniscus in my knee while I was squatting to line up a putt, and I knew exactly what it was. There's nothing else that really feels like that. So I got my knee scoped, and I saw the images afterwards after they took out the torn meniscus, and it was bone on bone. I lost a lot of sleep, and I was living on ibuprofen to the point where my lab studies started to show some abnormalities on my kidney function, but it, it let me know it was time. The surgery itself was a breeze. I was the first case of the day at 7 o'clock. I don't remember anything until about 3.30, but when I re started remembering things, I was in physical therapy, and I was walking out the door at 4.30 heading home. My wife was a wonderfully attentive caregiver, and she kept me iced and elevated solidly day and night for about two weeks. And that was critical, I think, in minimizing the swelling. So it didn't swell up. You know, lots of people think that you're going to go to therapy and someone's going to push on you hard to get your motion. But the truth of it is that the first principle after surgery is control the swelling. And once you control the swelling, you control pain and you make it very easy to move the joint. I took two and a half weeks off from work. Uh, when I came back, uh, I just did the office for a week. And then the next week I started adding in surgery. And after about six weeks, I was running a full schedule. I started playing golf in August. What I have learned that I would pass on to my patients is it is not as nearly as scary as I thought it was ahead of time. And it is disruptive to your family a lot for two weeks, sort of for about four weeks after that. But after that, you're in pretty decent shape. I should have done it six months earlier. And I would say that to most of my patients. When you realize that you are compromising your life, you're giving up the things you like to do, whether it's golf or hiking or swimming or biking or whatever it is, when you realize that you're making sacrifices for this and all the non-operative stuff has been done and it hasn't helped any longer, get it done.